So where are we right now? So we spent the first two weeks containing the incident. Um, then we spent the second two weeks recovering. By week four, we were 80% recovered. Um, now, just incrementally since then, we've been recovering more and more systems, and I would say we're easily in the 90% of operations recovered at this point. So we heard from CDOT in the beginning, they were saying they kind of had to revert back to pen and paper. Are they still in that pen and paper no, state? No, not at all. They're much better now. So what's left to recover? So there are a few things left. I think we're tracking about eight to 10 items still. Um, so one of the things we'll be doing this week is turning back up the wireless network. Um, we've got still just a couple of sites that we're having a hard time connecting. Um, we've got some contractors we're still enabling access for. Those are a few of the examples of things we're still doing. I think one of the biggest questions people have had about this is why CDOT? Why not some other government organization? Why not a city or something like that? Why CDOT? So I honestly think it's just a crime of opportunity. It's just the conditions were favorable um, and the attackers are just really targeting anybody that they can just to get them to pay the ransom. How do you make them unfavorable? <laughs> That's a very good question. And we are certainly, um, we've learned a lot of things that we have got documented um, that are going into the lessons learned that um, we'll be revisiting those items. Some of it I can't really talk to you about because it's an ongoing investigation at the moment. We've turned everything over to the FBI who has an office out of New York that's actually working the SAM SAM investigation. Um, but there's definitely some ways to um, take precaution to make yourself more hardened against this type of attack. Certainly one thing that played into our favor is network segmentation where the attack just didn't run rampant through the state network. The attack was very much contained to CDOT's business operations. Also, uh, it didn't impact traffic operations because we had good segmentation in place as How well. do you, when you say segmentation, for those of us who aren't in the industry, sure. does that mean yeah. just everything on a different network, on a different server? That's exactly what that means, everything on a different network and that the networks are protected um, and isolated by firewalls typically. Gotcha. Is that a lesson learned? And what lessons have you learned from this entire experience? That is definitely a lesson learned. Another one is to have a great backup strategy. So in um, last year, about a year ago, we just finished a multi-year project where we implemented something we call Backup Colorado, which was a very good backup strategy that ensured that we were backing up every single server and application database, everything, um, to an offline platform. And so one of the things that we've learned about SamSam -Sam is that often the attackers get in and they, the first thing they do is they look through your system for backups and they try to delete those. Um, all of our backups were offline. And so that's another lesson learned is to ensure you have a good backup strategy, have your backups offline so that if something like this does happen that you're able to recover. So are you taking those lessons? We've seen in instances in the paper just all over the news of other cities that have gone through the same thing. Have you heard from those cities? And what do you tell them when you get that frantic phone call? I sure have. So I've heard from a number of cities and states, um, local governments saying, you know, how did you know you had it? How do we look for it? What do we do if we have it? Um, and how do you protect yourself? And so certainly we've talked to them about network segmentation, about understanding what's on your network, about making sure your systems are up to date, um, about making sure you have good backups and other things that we've uncovered through the process that we've shared with some of our peers to make sure that they're protected. So we're here seven weeks down the road now. Mm -hmm. Everything's still not online. You said 90%. Mm -hmm. um, did it take, is it taking longer than you had expected it to, to get everything back online, or is everything kind of fallen into place right where you would have thought? Well, I think there's always areas for improvement, and I think if you talk to CDOT, I mean, they've been a tremendous partner, um, and they've been amazingly patient, um, but certainly they would say, and we would say, we wished it would have gone faster. We did spend two full weeks containing the incident and making sure that we had it contained because we wanted to make sure that when we did start bringing systems back online that they would stay online um, and so we really did spend a lot of time there which I think was important um, and then it took two weeks to get to 80% recovery which I think is pretty fast I think that was a pretty good pace um, and CDOT did understand that it's just going to take some time we made so many changes in their environment um, we restored so many systems so many applications so many databases and we changed passwords across the entire environment. So just those things alone mean that it's gonna take a while to kind of reestablish connections. 
when you go back to day one of this and look now seven weeks down the mm -hmm. road, they were asking for a certain amount of money. Now all this man hour, these man hours have been invested mm -hmm. in it. Would, have been, would it have been less expensive to just pay the ransom or, or just let it happen this way? You know, I would say that it's probably always less expensive initially to just pay the ransom. However, things that I've learned is, number one, you're dealing with criminals. You might pay the ransom. You might not get the key to unencrypt the files. Um, number two, you're going to fund activities that you're not going to agree with. Um, number three, I was in a... a uh, Secret Service briefing yesterday in which they said, if you pay the ransom, you are setting yourself up as a future victim as well. Um, and number four, we learned some lessons about security and about our environment that we needed to fix. So these things needed to be done and they needed to be done quicker than um, just over time. And so I'm really glad that we had this opportunity to really focus on CDOT and, and get it to a much healthier state. We joked on this show about the Liam Neeson quote, the, the governor <laughs> on the phone with the hackers saying he has a very particular set of skills. Do you think there is a message that goes through to these people who tried to do this to the state of Colorado? Well, I would hope that the message is that we're not going to pay the ransom. And so if you're looking for a crime of opportunity and you're just looking to make some fast cash and you're hoping to infect a network where they're going to pay the ransom, you know, it's not us. Um, and I'm also hoping that other states and local governments and other entities are learning from this and are taking some of the lessons that we've learned and applying those and that we'll be able to follow suit and also, you know, set themselves up to not have to pay the ransom. You may be able to stop Sam Sam. Do you think you'd be able to stop anything, whatever the next iteration of this whole thing is down the road, or could we see something like this again? Well, there's no such thing as 100% security, but I will say that um, we have done a lot to continue to improve. We had a number of security projects that were already in in progress or planned that we took this opportunity to kind of push them out quickly. Um, so for instance, we were executing on a project plan where we were installing some new tools and CDOT was due to be installed with these new tools the week after SamSam -Sam hit. Honestly, the tool would have protected them from SamSam. -Sam. We just hadn't gotten to them yet. So what happened when SamSam -Sam hit is we threw out our project plan and we pushed it broadly across every agency. So I do believe we are in a much better place to protect um, CDOT and to protect other state agencies. Um, you know, so hopefully that will, um, that will bode well for us in the next attack. If you're walking down the street and you run into someone named Sam, do you just go, ah! <laughs> I am partial to the name because it's my father's name, oh, it actually. Is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm trying not to hold it against people named okay. Sam. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Sam's of the world, you're safe. That's Deborah right. Blythe, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Appreciate thank it. you for having me.